snakepunch.com. With this session, I'm going to show the importance of the parry. Okay, so you get your stance, you stand in the middle, you go like so, and as the jab comes, you parry the punch. So you jab, punch. So if someone jabs you, you parry. Okay, you can come back with the jab, come back, and parry, come back with the cross. Okay, so if you do it a bit faster, jab, hit, jab, cross. Jab, hit, and cross. Okay, it's a really good way of stopping someone from hitting you. And again, you can start this from when you, if you've got another partner, they can jab, you can pitch, they can parry and hit. Parry and then hit. Don't go down too far, too far. If the jab, if the jab low, just block in, but don't go down too, too far with your right hand. Okay, so you just parry in front of your face, parry and hit. It all comes with confidence. The more you do it, the more relaxed you are. Relax your shoulders, don't be too tight, because if you're tight, you'll be too, too, too nervous. So just relax your shoulders, nice and easy, parry and counter. Parry and counter. Demonstration of the parry, okay? So if you get your opponent to jab, you can come back with the, with the counter. Okay, jab, come back with the right cross, again, parry, counter, parry, counter. What you don't want to do is bring your hand down too low, leave yourself wide open for the right cross. Okay, so you just jab, parry, jab, that's it, good, okay, and that's just the basics, the basics of the parry.